Hello, thanks for being here. Today I wanted to show you what you get with the 21 day vegetarian meal plan when you order it. I made it super easy and fun to use and you'll be super excited when you get yours in the mail once you see what you get in the packet. So let's start by opening the box it comes in. It comes in this beautiful white box. You have a wonderful, you can see it's a substantial box that holds the binder and the inserts and some other fun stuff. I love that it's a physical binder for many reasons I'm about to show you. But first of all, because you don't have to print the 100 and 220 pages and use up all your ink and paper. So when you open the box, you see the cover and the binder, but we're take, I took it out of the package. And let me remind you that most of the recipes are designed for two people. So the portions and amounts and servings are for two people. There are some recipes, lasagna for example, that are difficult to make in that small of a portion. So it's got more servings, but you can eat that over the next few days or you can easily freeze the extra portions. You can even make it for a potluck that you're going to and have more than enough to share. First, look at the packet that comes with it. You get large samples of the spices that Nickney Kitchen sells because they're part of some of the recipes and I want you to be able to taste test them before you buy them. This is enough spice to last you through several versions of the recipes and even add them to other recipes because they're salt free, low in potassium and phosphorus. You have the Texas twist, toasted onion and garlic and more spices that you can use. Texas Twist is a little spicy and adds zest to the meals without salt. I have a lot of repeat customers for that one and the toasted onion. And the toasted onion has a toasted flavor in a dried onion that is again salt free and easy to use. Add it to recipes where you might want some yummy onion flavor but don't feel like crying over cut onions. This packet also has a set of measuring spoons in it. They have the Real Diet logo and they're perfect for all the seasonings you'll use that are not salty. Of course, you could use them for seasonings that are salty, but now that you're on the road to your new healthy meals, why would you do that? It has a quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, one teaspoon, and a tablespoon. This packet also has a welcome letter and more information about our other products. So now let's open this sealed package. Come sealed um, and show you what's inside. This is in a three ring binder because I want you to be able to arrange the pages as you see fit. It comes with the tabs already inserted for each day. So you'll have to unwrap the package and insert it into the binder. Now let me show you what you're going to love about this. Okay, so in this first section we have your required disclaimer and instructions on how to use the guide. In there it talks about how I came up with the numbers I used and what you're receiving with the guide. You're getting three meals a day times 21 days. Most of the recipes are never before seen and just a couple of breakfast repeats. You're getting over 60 new recipes in this plan. It goes over how the book is laid out, which I'm gonna explain in this video in a moment. I'm excited to show you the rest of this book because it's so good. And even if you don't get this book, which I hope you do, you need to go to renaldiethq.com and get the vegetable broth recipe because I use it in a lot of recipes regardless of whether they're vegetarian or not. You can make a bunch and freeze it for later. So let me show you how it's laid out. You have some lined pages and these are scattered throughout the book to allow you to make notes and information about how you changed a recipe or adjusted something. I'll show you how that works in a moment. But the next couple of pages have the meal plans laid out seven days at a time. So you can see the recipes for that week and make notes or go to that page. So you have a notes page and then this has the daily recipe. And then, you know, after a couple of pages, there's one that has the desserts in it. And there's a page with the desserts listed and another section to make notes. And a few of those desserts are in the meal plan, but some are not, and you can just add them to your day if you see fit or make them for special occasions. Then you have nutritional counts by the day, which is a summary page for you to look at and decide if you want to start on a particular day. 
You do not have to go through the meal plan in order. You can choose the day you feel best fits into your needs. But it's here's a reference, and you'll notice that I have a goal line and an average line that shows you if you ate the exact foods and didn't vary, you would eat that amount of each nutrient each day. While there are some days that go above the goal, you would on average have a very healthy meal plan if you follow this 21 day plan for vegetarian meals. I want to remind you that this is a vegetarian meal plan, but it's not vegan. I've included cheese, milk, and butter in some of the recipes, so do not be surprised by that. Now let's get into the daily meal plans. I want to show you all the tabs. You can see they're separated by days. And you get a detailed plan of a day, and you can get a free day, which is day eight, to check out just by adding your email to the pop-up on the website or by sending me a message via the contact form on any page. I will gladly add you to the list. So I'm going to show you day eight in detail and talk through that. Let's fit, flip to that page. Oh, wait a minute. On day seven, I want to quickly show you one of my favorite parts of this meal plan. I have a build your own sandwich page, build your own salad page, and build your own omelet that you can use to personalize your page. Day seven has a sandwich. In this case, you see what I used to plan the sandwich that is used in the nutritionals for that nutritional information for that day at the top, but below are the options you can change out or add to the meal, and then you can add or subtract that from the nutrient info and have a completely different sandwich, but you know it's good for your diet. So this means that you not only get a bunch of new recipes, but you have almost unlimited options to make delicious sandwiches, salads, or omelets as part of your daily plan. No more searching around for foods which have low potassium or phosphorus. Okay, moving on, let's go to day eight. So I open the tab on day eight, and it's got a nice area that's lined. So you can make notes about the day, if you like something, um, want to change, add calories or snack, easily make your notes, and then you have your detailed layout of the meals for that day, and how calories, carbohydrates, protein, fiber, potassium, phosphorus, sodium, are in the meals. At the bottom it's added up, so it gives you some detail how much it was and how close to the goal amount it was. It's perfect for helping, helping you make changes. And even though it's for pre-dialysis, if you have diabetes, you can manage how many carbs you eat and the number of calories you eat, so you can use this too. And if you're on dialysis, you still need to eat lower potassium and phosphorus so you can adjust with added protein and still meet your needs. So on day eight, for breakfast, you have blueberry overnight oats. And you have the recipes in here in order for that day. You flip to one page, you'll see the recipe with the nutrition information. And then there's a page for you to make some notes and comments about it. This is designed for two serving and it's called overnight oats because you don't have to cook them. They're refrigerated overnight and you can eat them in the morning. If you wanna take them along for a trip or dialysis, just pop them in a cooler and eat them when you get there. With the lid on it, you can use them over the next 48 hours, and it also makes a perfect midday snack. For lunch, you have Caesar salad wraps and white bean dip with pita chips and some raspberries. Now, the raspberries don't have a recipe, as you can just eat them fresh once you have measured the amount, but the salad wraps are a two-person recipe, and you can see they're easy to bring along with you because you just wrap them in a tortilla. Who knew you could wrap a salad and carry it with you? Now you don't. For the chips and dip recipe, you use the Texas Twist Spice we included, and you make some pita chips by baking them in the oven, and then you use a blender to make the dip. So this recipe is one that is for 12, but you can make the pita chips and dip and use them for several recipes or several days or take them to a party. These are not foods that only you should eat. These foods are perfect for everyone because they're healthy, low sodium. For dinner, you're having Mediterranean couscous meal, with some chickpeas for protein. This also uses some Texas twist to give it a little zip and it's easy to make and eat. It's a pretty quick recipe to put together without much fuss and all in one pan. I love the Mediterranean feel of this dish and it's made for two as well. I kind of made dinners a little lighter on some days as I like to eat a bigger lunch and less in the evening. But again, because this is in a binder, you can move pages around, remove things you don't like, and write all over it with your ideas and changes that make it yours and grows with you. So all your days are laid out like day eight with the recipes and areas to document what you need. Each day is designed around about 1500 calories. You might need that 
more than that, so I encourage you to add desserts and healthy snacks that fit your meal plan. In the back sections, you have a desserts and recipes, snacks page. Some are higher calories and some are lower calories, but they all are adjusted by me to be healthy for chronic kidney disease. So you have all the recipes for desserts and then you have some snacks in here that are suggested for you to add to your days for more calories or variety. And then you have, each has the nutritional information to give you an idea of where they can fit in your day. You can add them to any day or use them to travel to have something to take along. Finally, there are several pages in the back with potassium amounts in foods ranked from low to high. You can add these foods, switch them out for other foods you might not be in the mood for, but you have so many options with this list and with the ideas in the book. All throughout this book, I've added pages that are lined that you are welcome to write on or move around. I encourage you to use this book in the way it was intended, as a full meal plan that can keep you on track, but you have so many, many options to change or adjust as needed. This book is the way to eat a diet that is perfect for your condition and done for you. Well, almost done for you. You do need to cook. You don't have to search around and calculate for each food. It's already done for you with more options if you don't like what I put together. You're making this your own personal meal plan. This meal plan is designed by me, Mathia Ford, a registered dietitian with lots of experience working with people to improve their kidney function. I hope you enjoy the book when it arrives at your door and use it to guide your healthy eating decisions for CKD. Now click on that buy button and get yours. I mail them out quickly and yours will be on your doorstep in a few days.